Hey everybody, welcome back. Welcome back to our builder series. This is episode five. Now, today we're gonna go over some of the uh, items that the builders completed. Got some good movement uh, for the last week or so. Now, some of the things we're gonna be looking at are the pavers around the pool and the back patio pavers turned out really nice. And also the grill, the quartz countertops and the summer kitchen area. Also, we're gonna to touch on some of the trim, the doors, some really nice stuff going on in the closets. Those are just being started. Big thing I wanna show you at the end is gonna be the ceiling in the great room. It's turned out really nice. It's not done yet either, but it's gonna be really, it's a, it's a great focal point for this property. Thank you for coming back to at our channel at Everything Jacks Real Estate. I'm Lauren Summers and this is Stephen Croy. Please don't forget to like this video, subscribe to our channel at Everything Jacks Real Estate. Ring the bell so you're notified of more videos just like this one. And please leave us a comment below so we know what you want to see. Yeah, absolutely. And hey, we have that website for this particular property at 11239readisland.com. It's going to be on the screen here, 11239readisland.com. You'll want to see more updates as we go forward. Just go ahead and visit the, that website or also our channel. But at Everything Jacks Real Estate. Absolutely. Now, I'm sure you're excited to see this place. Yeah, let's go check it out. Let's get to it. As you can see, we've got the pavered extended patio that's gone in and uh, it's gone into the pool deck. So we got the pavers down here. We got the pavers on um, stepping up into our extended patio. There's lots of different features that you can do on a pool deck and on an extended patio. I'd love to know a comment below. What do you think that you sh should do? Do you love the look of pavers? Would you do something different? I'd love to know your thoughts below. So drop me a comment. And the summer kitchen is coming along. We've got our grill. We've got our quartz countertops. Now quartz is a pretty durable material. So it is a great choice for an outdoor kitchen like this. And then of course, our outdoor kitchen is under an overhang, so it's a little bit protected. And then we're gonna continue to finish up. We've got our sink here. We're gonna get our faucet in. We've got some more paint that's gone up. And then we've got our light fixtures that have gone up that are really tying it together because these are the same lights that we have at the front of the house. So we're getting, you know, carrying on our features from the front to the back. One of the things that we forgot to mention at the beginning was the built-ins that are being put in, the custom built-ins. So there's kind of like a little mud area. So remember, here's our garage. So we're gonna walk in and we're gonna drop all of our stuff here. And then we've also finished some other trim that I wanna show you. We've put in the closets in bedroom one. So remember, we've got bedroom one, bedroom two, bedroom three, and then we've got our master. So we've got our closet store, in, the closet door, in super tall with our built-in custom closet this is a really nice upgrade guys these are not wire shelves this is solid wood that's going in we've got the window seals gone in and then we've got our eight inch baseboards that have gone in as well so all the trim is going in looking amazing and as steven mentioned they have put in the amazing custom wood tongue and groove ceiling with the exposed beam look so we're not quite sure what this is gonna finally look like. It may be stained dark, it may be stained light. I'd love to know, leave me a comment below. Would you like to see this dark? Would you like to see this light? Do we wanna keep the natural look? Let me know below. And then also you can see that we've installed the lights up there as well. So, looks pretty cool. I really like it. I'd love to know y'all's thoughts on it though. All right, as you saw, there's a lot coming along here and we've a but we have a lot to show you still. So hang in there, keep watching our series because this thing's gonna turn out amazing at the end. If you haven't left a comment during our video, we want you to. So please leave a comment below and give us a question. Ask Lauren Summers or myself, uh, any questions you have, anything you saw, any you have any questions on this house or any other homes in Jacksonville or the Northeast Florida area. We are your experts. And don't forget to check out 11239readisland.com, 1 readisland.com for more details on this house. There's also our information below, so you can always give us a shout with any questions. All right. We'll see you next time on episode six. 